Hey everybody, happy Tuesday, happy live stream. Welcome back for another one. Give us a minute and we'll get everyone jumping in and get them on. What's up Angel, thanks for joining. Uh, which way, uh, Alice, thank you for joining. Sorry if I butcher your names, that's kind of my thing. Um, hold on one sec, we'll get everybody in here. And see what happens. All right, my Darian music, thank you for joining, especially since you're the guests tonight. Usually what oh, I say is, is oh, I think it did it. Already. Did it work? <laughs> oh man, I got to turn this up way louder. There we go. So Oops. usually what I say at the start is uh, it takes a couple minutes to get up and running. Just skip ahead five minutes, but you guys are on the ball. So thank you. We tried. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Roaming. I can't read your name. I'm sorry because I need glasses. Roaming is maybe. Thank you for joining. If you guys know everyone coming in, feel free to shout them out. I'll read something off the top and then we can get started. Oh, is There's, that roaming receipt? The phone is so far away. We can't read anything. Oh, yes. Did you say it? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. I want to make sure we can get it, everybody. That's I'll my sister. My oh, that's oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hi, Rosa. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining. Um, yeah, well, why don't we get started here and uh, yeah, we'll get right into it. Cool. All right, hello and welcome to the Bow Weather Ritual live stream where we discuss music, the local Lehigh Valley PA scene, bands, social media, and more. Today is Tuesday, December 5th. We have switched to Tuesday from Wednesday, so just uh, heads up there. My name is Mike and I'm the vocalist and guitarist of Bow Weather Ritual. Hope you had a great week. Um, some sad news about Jabber Jaws. I don't know if you all heard about that. Um, Jabber Jaws is, is officially closing down at the end of the month and the beginning of the year. There are going to be a couple shows left, so I will definitely be making it out to a few, uh, you know, support if you can. It'd be great to see everyone and, and give them a good send off there. Um, we'll also be hibernating uh, for the rest of the year, prepping to do some recordings, so keep an eye out for that. And tonight, our guests are Chelsea, Selena, Spencer, and Alex of Nidarian. Nidarian is an alternative rock band from Lehigh Valley, PA, uh, that blends genres like pop punk, grunge, and math rock. They've released an EP called Retrograde Part 1, and we'll see if there's a part two to follow soon here. And we'll talk to them about all that and more. Welcome, everyone. How are you tonight? Yeah, Hi, yeah. Good, good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for jumping on here with me. I appreciate it. Thanks. This is exciting. Yeah, yeah thanks for having us. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, anything you want to plug right off the top? Um, well, I mean, the show. show coming up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely the show. Um, December cool. 15th coming up. We're going to be playing at Main Gate, the Toys for Tots yeah. show. So, great cause as yeah. well. Some great bands, yes. too. Oh, yes, the lineup is fantastic. Very cool. And how'd that come about? Uh, we got an invite to from the one of the promoters he was he was looking for people and he asked if, if we'd be interested so we we lucked out we do kind of try our, our best to, to reach out to people and let them know when we're available and this one we liked what the uh what the cause was about so we were like okay yeah we can yeah, we're about that and we've also played with some of the other bands on the bill before um as well too we we know some of them so it's really nice to be able to play with our friends and support something really fantastic oh, yes mm -hmm. very cool all right. Um, let's see. Usually what I like to ask people off the top is, um, well, are you all from the area originally or have you moved in at some point? No, we're all from the area. Yeah. Yeah. Well, or, <laughs> well, <laughs> well <laughs> we live here like seven years ago. So like I consider myself a quote unquote native, but I didn't, I, didn't, yeah. I wasn't born in Pennsylvania. Uh, most of my family How dare. Uh, is from Massachusetts <laughs> and that's where I was, I was born up there. Uh, so, like, I'm not, I didn't grow up around here, but I, I've been here for long enough. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Very good. Um, and uh, was there something in your lives or, like, a song or, um, I don't know, um, something you had growing up that initially uh, got you into music? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can think about one band in particular growing up. Um, my... My dad, he would always play Pink Floyd. Oh, and cool! Yeah. As as every musician knows, like they're so 
monumental, like Pink Floyd and Sabbath. As soon as I heard those, then I was like, you know what, this is this is it. I'm, this is it. This is what this is what I want to do. I I want to play music like this sort of deal. That's a good combo for sure. Um, I've always been going to like local fairs when I was little and just like being glued to the band shell and was like, you know, that's what I wanted to do and play music live. And it's been uphill ever since learning learning music. Yeah. Very cool. I actually caught you guys at a band shell at the Rose Garden. Yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. That was show. a great show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a beautiful day too. It we was. were we were yeah. like awesome. Oh day. yes. Um, I personally, I just kind of grew up around music. Like my dad was the one that taught me how to play guitar originally, like a little bit that I know. So I just kind of grew up around like a family that was very built on music. So I, I think I have to say the same. Like my yeah. uh, my my mom especially was very big about music. My dad liked music growing up, but he was always uh, he always appreciated music. Couldn't play it, couldn't sing or anything like that. But he was very like about. Uh, kind of underground music and stuff like that. And then my grandfather was, uh, my grandfather was very involved in the music scene in the, in the seventies. So oh, very cool. um, just because of that, I, I've always kind of had music in my life. Um, but I do remember distinctly, like my very first band growing up was the Smashing Pumpkins and it had absolutely nothing to do with their music. I just really liked the name. And, <laughs> And I was so little, I was I, like, I didn't, I was just like, I like that name. And then my mom and I were like in the car and I heard it on the radio and she's like, oh, you know, Spencer, this is the Smashing Pumpkins. And I was like, this is bad. Okay, I like this. I'm glad I picked these names. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, lucky you guys that grew up in a musical family. That, that would make a, a big difference for sure. Um, um, speaking of band names, well, real quick, um, let's see, Anacrotastic, I'm sorry, I'm going to just butcher all your names because I can't see very well either. Thank oh. you for joining. And Angel Gable says that was a great day and a great show. She was yes. there as well. So yeah. Yes. Oh, cool. nice. yes. Very cool. Um, let's see. So band names, uh, my Darian, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell the story? So um, <laughs> a shout out to my fam down south. I was helping my um, my cousin. She was studying marine biology for a little while and I was helping her um, proofread one of her papers for one of her classes. And I was reading through and I'm like, what the heck is this word? Tell me, is this an actual word that starts with a C? How do you pronounce it? And she's like, Nidarian. And it's like the classification of jellyfish. And then we got into that conversation and Spencer in the background was like, that's a band name. <laughs> If that's a band name right flipping now it goes on and there's nobody so we automatically were like that's it dang light bulb that's gonna that's gonna be such a weird word yeah it's like... so unique and yeah you, you need to pay attention to how it's pronounced and like you need to pay attention to its meaning just like how the music that we're trying to play you need to pay attention to it a little because it's it's a little bit more than what's there like I'm chelsea sure. she like she writes poetry for her lyrics and, she really does you know we want to create something that's emotional like a bloom of jellyfish sort of deal like it's a beautiful Great. word for a beautiful thing very cool. Did did you were you like debating band names previous to that, and then that just kind of stuck, or was it like that's it right off the bat? The name came before the band did. Yeah. Oh. That's, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's been very fitting though, because like this band itself is more. It's it is kind of like a jellyfish. We just have gone through so many different twists and turns, and like we've mm. kind of just floated on through different sounds, different you know chapters in the band's life, and you know we just keep on. You don't know yeah, we just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, yeah, and I, I that is some people, I don't know if it's luck or the opposite, but like there's some people who like have a set lineup and that's it, period. We haven't had that. We've had people come through and every time someone new comes in, it kind of changes things a little bit and you just kind of have to roll with it and um, see what happens. So <laughs> Yeah, what uh, were there some like big changes sonically or like uh, yeah? How did you um, kind of develop your sound currently? Well, I mean, Alex is Alex is our. I'm the new our, person. Our, well, you're not you're <laughs> new. But... Alex has been our drummer for like uh, uh, like a year and a half now, yeah. um, and 
I would say that with him coming on, our, our writing approach is a little bit more structured. Um, I loved our, I love our old drummer. He's still, he's still good friends with us. We, you know, there's no qualms there. It's just a yeah, completely same. different uh, writing style. Mm -hmm. Whereas sure. uh, yeah, well, Felix was two very- Two completely different drummers. Yeah, yeah, two completely different styles. Felix was very about swimming, very about throwing a lot of, a lot happening at once. And Alex, I feel like has, you know, coming into a band that he wasn't really necessarily starting with, taken the sound and really honed into what we were, I think, really trying to do something a little bit more polished, something a little bit cleaner. And I mean, he's like a goddamn robot. He's so on time all of the time. It's ridiculous. I think we've also yeah adapted to with him and his style too, and just brought a different element into it. Like same as what we had with Felix, like it's just different elements that we've adapted into the band. And like, we're, we love, you know, Alex and what he's brought to the table too. And he's, he's a gem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Alex. All right. Um, yeah. yeah. Everybody here has a different um, personal music style that yeah. they, that they yeah. listen to. And like, we all kind of respect <laughs> these, um, these influences that we have to incorporate into our own writing as well. Mm -hmm. So but it's through those it's through those differences that we have created our sound. Absolutely. Yeah. Like it's it's yeah. the combination sure. of finding the things that we we like out of those differences mm -hmm. and being like, okay, well what if we try that? Because we're not really exactly. conventionally I wouldn't call us pop punk. I wouldn't call us really as specific, any, as yeah. specific genre. Like yeah. I I don't think we've fallen into that category yet. We're still, you know trying to writing right yeah. yeah and like we are working on part two now cool. uh, yay so <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's mostly done we just have to really like focus on writing the melodies and writing a lot of the the lyrical content but like the, the songs the, the ideas so, are there the, yeah, the, yeah, the, we have the songs are segments. Written. Yeah. yeah definitely we have like parts of certain things written so we just have to polish it up now and put the final yeah. you know, little tweaks on it and then hopefully we'll be getting that done over the next year or so so yeah. All right, very cool. Uh, Funeral Doors and the In Between Band, thank you for joining. If you have questions or anyone asks questions for yeah. night, yeah. Night, yeah. you can drop them in the comments yeah. below and I will read them off. I can't see it at all. Yeah. <laughs> so we are working on something uh, coming up so that we're not tied to the phone for live streaming and we'll, we'll go to different platforms. So we'll get you back on for that too so you can see. The laptop. I just didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. We had trouble with that. On Honestly, yeah. Uh, previously, yeah. So I usually just recommend that people use the app for now, but we'll um, we're going to be getting into um, laptops and uh, multi-platform streaming really soon. We just, I just have to figure out the tech side of, of it all, and that always sucks. But <laughs> the in-between band says hello. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. No, we were yeah. literally setting this, setting this up, going like, I hope I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> All right. Um, so, can you talk a little bit about um, when and how the band started? So, Spencer and I, we were originally in a uh, band called Tabertine um, here in the Valley a few years ago, and that's honestly how we met each other. And then Tabertine, everybody decided to do their own things, which is just fine. And we still wanted to play some music. And we were like, okay, let's, let's figure out, let's figure yeah. out what to What's do next. Mean? I had you a know? bunch of riffs ready to go. I was, I was already writing stuff for, for Tabertine to kind of use. And I, like in that band, I wasn't playing guitar, I was doing vocals. So we had two other okay. guitar players and I was kind of working with them to kind of like write some songs. And even uh, one of the songs that we played, um, with them, we've adopted. It's our song. It was something that I wrote, and I and I, you know, I asked them, you know, beforehand, hey, is it okay if I take the song? Because I mean, I did write it, and I wanted to have. I also wanted to have somebody else sing it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to hear myself sing it. I wanted to have somebody else sing it. So, we, you know, we had a couple songs written, and then it just kind of we we all did our own thing. We all did our own thing. Um, we um we knew Felix already, right? And Felix uh, agreed to to start this collective with us. And then uh, we were trying to find a vocalist. We were like, oh man, what are we gonna do? Ah, and she shows up. At she shows up. <laughs> sends me a message, and I I'm not even joking. I listened to maybe 10, 15 seconds of it, 
Like there was, a, it was a whole minute and a half. She had a guitar. She was doing some like folk kind of yeah. thing. It was because that's you know a lot of my stuff individual that she's stuff is like more in indie folk kind of sound. But so I, was, I didn't, I didn't give it more than ten seconds, and I was like, yes, no, done, like absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I don't know, I don't absolutely. know how it's gonna work because it's not, it wasn't really necessarily what I was thinking of when I was writing these songs. But I was like, this is she's she's too powerful of a voice to not ask to join my project because if i don't do it someone else is going to. someone 100%. else <laughs> she's just like i don't know i can't i really can't talk highly enough about Aww. like her voice i Absolutely. think it's really yeah it's really unique it's not mm -hmm. and that's something that's it's hard to come by with music is having a a sound that is unique so i think that we've definitely tapped that i just don't know what to call it yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would agree i was listening and i was like i can't really put my finger on like a specific thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. So you had mentioned songwriting. Do you have like a way that you write songs? Do you do it together? Does somebody bring pieces in? How does that work? It's very similar to the manatee tank from Family Guy, where there's <laughs> a bunch of ideas floating in a, a tank yeah. and we let manatees decide the song <laughs> Yeah, I think we've taken Coming back to the, uh, the ocean. <laughs> yeah, back to the ocean. Like, say, you know, sometimes it'll start with something Spencer's already had written, or, um, you know, I'll write some lyrics and then, you know, we'll kind of jam on something. That's that's actually very, you know, big on how we write songs too, or alter stuff too. Is a uh, it's very organic for us. Mm -hmm. Um, and we like get <laughs> going separate and then just yeah. coming together. Yeah, we get. Just... A little carried away at practices. So we start, <laughs> but we doesn't. Start, yeah. Exactly. Who doesn't have fun at practices? So, um, exactly. so we can if do start writing more stuff, you know, that way too. Yeah, if you're not having fun at practice, it's time to find something else, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then sure. when you're jamming, you're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, this is good. And then yeah. someone would hit record on their phone, and then <laughs> we'll, we'll shout at each other. other. We'll yes. Remember yes. to. Yeah that back up the next practice so that we can continue to add on to it sort of yeah sort of deal it's, it's a working practice like do you have those recordings from last week <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta search through all yeah. of them oh yeah that's part of the fun though you know yeah, yeah. part I think of the fun with the new songs is remembering which damn song we named oh my goodness which <laughs> <laughs> that's the hardest part like, they're written and then we're like wait what did we call that one yeah like, <laughs> look at that one uh secret october thank you for joining true blue promotions thank you for joining that is walt he uh and his band plummet played the building um when was that last this oh, past cool. saturday we went to check them out we like the um, building That's yeah the building box. is awesome man yeah. i fucking love that place um yeah so thank you for joining and um let's see oh really quick uh riff names uh, where does uh, how do you do it because i feel like same thing here it's like you just kind of name them random things or try to tie something into the sound to make you remember them is there any kind of thing you have or you just like this one is called whatever do that. it's right so. it's really right don't. here yeah. it's, it's called the hearts <laughs> it's, it's it's right here <laughs> yeah. and it's it's i'm it's, recording <laughs> i'm like collective yeah yeah, yeah. I don't think I like yeah when I it's just a B yeah a a riff for this song <laughs> and you you know definitely record things and have them recorded uh I try to do stuff yeah. on Logic Pro where I'll like just record oh. it mm -hmm. and like have a, a sample drum something just yeah. play along with it and then that's kind of how I develop like the structures for, for yeah. stuff it's very cool. I use Logic <laughs> Pro as well. I love that program. It's that way, it's it the, the phone recordings. It's however to get like, our ideas out. <laughs> group collective yeah. being like, oh yeah. wait, no, this that was the, 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 okay. that twinkly dinky was yeah. like, this one or like it was like oh I was yeah, like yeah, okay yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the one was like yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Glimmer is a band. <laughs> Glimmer is a band. Thank you for joining. If anyone has questions for Nidarian, you can post them in the comments and I will read them off. Um, let's see. Okay, so as far, what about lyrics? Like, is that, is it always kind of music first and lyrics or do you write lyrics and then try to put music to it? Um, is it kind of all over the place? I think we start with the music first. I think getting like a flow structure and sometimes yeah. very few moments. I don't think any of our songs have been uh, melody first versus the the riffs first i have to think yeah about it. no i mean uh, typically not yeah, we yeah. 
we kind of structure the instrumentals and then like I'll build something or, mm -hmm. you know, Spencer will have something kind yeah. of like sometimes, you know, thought of, or I'll have lyrics that we just kind of piece in and then, you know, fit it in from there and kind of build. Just jam, jam off yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. kind of put it all together. I'm always blown away because that's pretty much how we work too, but there's people who do it all sorts of ways. Like they'll yeah. just describe, yeah, describe songs that they like and take pieces out of those and just write on the spot before or lyrics first then write stuff to it like it's kind of all over the place but writing for sure yeah um i mean especially like um in grapefruit um there that whole beginning riff is just melvin's it's just the melvin's in nirvana <laughs> i'm not saying it, it's a riff of, Nir of a Nirvana song, but it might be really close to one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love them both. So yeah, you can do that all day and I'd be happy, that's for sure. Um, let's see here. Did anyone catch the Melvin's at Steel Stacks? Oh, we did! It was yeah. so yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it, but damn it, yeah. So, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Ryan Flynn Instagram, thank you for joining. He says, hey, Howie. Hey. Um, okay, and then as far as lyrics go, um, Chelsea, are you, like you say, you, you write poetry, is that something you're kind of always doing in the background and then taking pieces from that stuff to make a lyric or are you kind of getting like a vibe or a feel from the music and then that kind of inspires like a theme or how does that work? Um, it's honestly a bit of both. Uh, I'll write stuff in the background and I also have been writing for years so I'll take pieces of stuff and and build upon that when we do have our practices or like jam on stuff and kind of just get little bursts of energy when I like you know have yeah. a stream of consciousness with thoughts but and then sometimes when we play together it's just something that I feel from when we're just jamming and having like a good moment of just building music together so it's a little bit of both honestly yeah um uh, how about this do you uh like for melody and uh, like even before lyrics are you just kind of like um oh, what is it called uh, just like uh using syllable huh, there's a word for it and i can't yeah are, um, are you trying to use the word scat thank yeah. you yeah um, <laughs> are you just uh yeah are you just kind of scatting yeah, on top of everything Sometimes, honestly, yeah, like I do like I'll yeah. just a melody yeah. and I'll do like little bits of that. And um, sometimes I'll just have like a phrase or something that I'll just repeat or like build off of. And as we go on, and I'll just kind of, you know, feel it out and, and figure out a narrative for the, the lyrics. But yeah, again, bit of both, to be honest, it's a very open, I think for all of us, honestly, the, the building process of our music, it's very yeah. open and conducive and <laughs> built upon each other. So organic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. the way. We, we very like, cool. we, 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 we like to, yeah. we all kind of just throw out our little bits. Like, like, what do you think in there? Like, and then we'll all just kind of like throw out ideas. Yeah. I feel like that's where the magic happens is like everyone puts in two cents and you get 10 bucks and it's just mm -hmm. like, oh man, Everybody where did this even come from? Yeah. And then we wait, wait for those moments where everyone gets excited. And that's when we're like, yeah, that's yep. the one. We even had one tonight during we did, practice yes. before this. Oh, you practiced tonight? Cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. I messed something up and everybody looked at me and was like, can you do that on purpose? And I was like, yeah, I can do that. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and then Selena, came, and Selena did something and we were all just like, <laughs> we're like, oh, yes, that's okay. spicy. Let's do that okay. for it. Happy yeah. accidents. Yeah. Yes, we love it. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, seriously, like you can't plan on that stuff and you would never think of it. I feel like that's a big thing with collaboration too. It's like you can bring in a piece or a part and have like an idea of where it's going to go and then other people do their thing to it and it just goes in a completely different direction, which is, I think is awesome. I mean, um, yeah, I'm sure you have that a lot too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And like some of our best music was written in that organic way. Like, yeah. Uh, grapefruit is a really good example one of our longest songs on on our ep was mm -hmm. like built entirely through a jam session that we were just like okay let's keep this role really great inspiration <laughs> let's keep this up why not and we finished we finished a six minute song in like two practices simply by keeping that organic flow yeah, yeah. 
Uh, let's see, Richie, uh, I can't read the rest of it. I'm sorry, welcome, thank you for joining. And Simon Marshall, 44, thank you for joining. If you have questions, you can Where's drop them down in the comments. Hey! Oh. We got viewers across the pond. So. <laughs> oh, very cool, well, welcome, yeah. Um, speaking of song lengths, is that something that like uh, you try to keep in mind or are you, um, do you try to keep things short? Do you like when they get longer or a little bit of both? Why not yeah. both? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I usually get the message across, across right? right? Like, it's it's what the song. Yeah, whatever yeah. does the job. Yeah. I don't think we've ever really like talked about like yeah. oh, no, how I long we should make I've definitely gotten that that's too long. I mean, <laughs> sure. You definitely told me, hey, this is too long. <laughs> but that's okay, because like it's 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 not about the length in time, it's about how does it feel. It, yeah, you know, it, it, certain parts, it feels better to keep it going a little longer. Sometimes they yell at me because it's too annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, uh, oh, um, Simon says, hey, everyone. Um, Hi. Hey. <laughs> Simon says, hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we're, we're, all, we're all out. We're out. We're lost. Heads on the uh, desk. Okay. <laughs> Ryan Flynn Instagram has a question. Thank you, Ryan, for uh, posting that question. He asks, what is each band member's favorite release track? From the EP? Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't mind. I, I'm, no one agrees with me. I like Lifeline. I think Lifeline is great. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. I like it. That's my favorite. Yeah, it is a great one. I like the drums in the beginning and everything. Yeah. yeah. You, get, you get your moment. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my <laughs> it's important. <laughs> it's always. <sighs> I personally like grapefruit because I just like the dynamics in it and how we just have certain moments that kind of shift the way the song sounds. It just kind of breaks up very heavily. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I like grapefruit. Let's, <laughs> let's be honest here. That's like that's my. I'm that's just gonna. Like, I love like, it. It's <laughs> <legitimate job. laughs> I'm honestly torn. I mean, I love. I do love grapefruit. I think that it's a really like strong song, uh, Ghost will always have a special place oh, in my heart. Yeah, but okay. honestly, yeah. so does Cicada. Uh, I, because oh, yes. Cicada was a, was the first song, so that That's was okay. my favorite. And even now, like when I play it, I get very like into that song because it's just yeah. such a fun cymbal bop. And uh, I don't. Know, I wrote that with with a buddy of mine who unfortunately passed away a few years ago. So like. Mm, you start to hear that. Yeah. Every time I play it, I'm just like, "Hey man, I finished the song. I finished uh, it." That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is the one that starts with the distorted bass? I can't that remember that. Grapefruit. 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 Which one? Grapefruit. Oh yeah. That's my vote. <laughs> so, um, can you maybe talk a little bit about? Um, that Selena, like, um, what I saw you playing, um, at a Dan Electro Longhorn, I, um, yeah. yeah, is that uh -huh. what it's called? Uh, yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah, I can't oh, remember. What a yeah. beautiful guitar! My dad, he uh, he just gave that to me recently as a gift. Oh, cool, for, like my birthday, Christmas, one of one of the holidays, sort of deal. And like, <laughs> it's oh my god, what a great guitar! That is so unique, definitely one of a kind. And the sound for it being so small. The sound that comes through is just so rich. And, and it's like, hollow, right? It's a hollow body? It, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's, so light. it's very yeah. light. Yeah. The, the light. headstock is heavier than the actual <laughs> body itself. Uh, does the neck dive at all? Yeah, oh, yeah, it like the neck definitely dives. And yeah. it's not like, yeah. um, the body is, is short this way. So yeah. when I attach the strap, like the neck just like, whoop, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. What he wants. So. <laughs> I'm only along Very for the cool. ride. I only play the instrument. You know, it's the instrument that does all the work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I started off on bass, and similarly, I had a few that were just like neck dive, and like gotta oh. gotta hold it up or get a good strap. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Um, Got it. Did I hear that? Yeah. Did I hear that correctly? That you are a um, Christmas baby, like born around there. Let's see. Oh, oh well, I'm, I'm, born, early, in, early I'm born in November. I'm born. Oh, in okay. So it's not totally close. We had we had a conversation about that today. I just but, thought that was interesting. Oh, oh well, I mean, an expensive enough gift can uh, cover. <laughs> 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 Good point. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm fine for Christmas too, Pops. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's like five Christmases worth of gifts yeah. right there. Yeah. Shout out the bands that people want to come out to. Oh, yeah. We do have. I mean, we're playing the announced yet. Yeah, we're playing the Battle of the Bands. We are playing. So, yeah, JB Love Drafts is having a Battle of the Oh, yeah. And we got, I don't know. I haven't gotten anything back, but we did get picked for their rock category. And we're going to be doing that on the 13th of January. Yeah, yeah, of January, yeah. Yep. So, awesome. have you played there before? What's up? Wee. I'm out because the next day is my 30th. So, oh, and then so it's also Joseph's hey, hey, birthday. Hey, hey. So, more reason to come and celebrate with us. <laughs> come on, just uh, dance. There you go. That's yeah. all I ask. Just come out and dance with us. Come out. <laughs> there you go. I've heard some good things about that venue. Have you played there before? We haven't played there. I've, I've really wanted to check it out. I've, I've heard, yeah, again, yeah, I've heard nothing but really cool first, things yeah. from that spot. So I'm like, oh, that I want to check really it out. Cool. Uh, Harrisburg seems to be like, I forget if that's uh, in Harrisburg proper or just around it, but like Harrisburg seems to be really doing pretty well musically. We played a show yep. at the Music and Arts Center, or is that what it's called? Harrisburg Music and Arts Center? Yes. And that, that, was, yeah. that was that was a great stage. They had a video screen in the back, lights, good monitors, the whole thing. So that was yeah. great. That's, um, I'm trying to think. There's one band, uh, Renovare, I think that's oh. who they are. Or what's her uh, face? The, 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 she, they, I'm pretty sure they played there like a, a whole bunch. Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend trying to book there for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. Ryan Flynn Instagram says Dizzy Nightmare is mine because that chorus is bonkers. Yeah, that's a good one too. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Dizzy Nightmare. Yeah. Is Dizzy yeah. Nightmare. There's a reason why yeah. Dizzy Nightmare was the first to be released. Yeah. The single. Yeah. That was our yeah. third classic. That's... And then you had you had that released like almost the year in advance of the EP or something. <laughs> yeah. Like oh boy. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, is that? <laughs> Getting that first EP done. We life changes and yeah. COVID and like moving and different band Just members. Sorry. It was it was, it was all. all at one point we had another guitar player yeah. who was doing a lot of the recording aspect stuff. So mm -hmm. very very talented. Like shout shout out to Rob. Yeah. Because Dizzy Nightmare is entirely recorded in his house. Yeah. Oh wow. Own equipment. So. If it's like all of that stuff, the but the only thing that we didn't no, we did all his vocals there too. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah everything everything was done there. was done there, and he also uh, mixed, mixed and mastered it. that yeah, as well. So he did the whole yeah. the whole nine yards for that single. Very, so very like, we we were very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we parted ways, he, we had kind of like half recorded. So oh, yeah. we had done drum tracks, we had recorded guitar and bass, but we still had to do vocals. So it took us a while. We were kind of in between writing and playing shows and figuring out what to do about maybe trying to find yeah, another guitarist. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Trying to find yeah. a space to practice. Yeah, yeah there's <laughs> a lot of practice. We've gone through like three practice yeah. spaces. Uh, I think uh, it's been a little bit one of them oh, flooded yeah. completely. Like four or five. What else has happened? An right? attic, we've spaces. done a basement, oh, we've yeah. done... Been kicked out of a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> not, not like because of us, like they just, they, they didn't want to deal with it. And I was like, okay, well, you, yeah. you, you did say we could be here, but okay, fine. We've, we've rehomed a couple of times. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> we're, we're at our current uh, practice space, which is our friend's house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Because she has the room for it. So shout out to Andy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, that's the best kind. We we bounce back and forth between, um, I don't know if you know the one in Forks that's like um, behind uh, like a strip mall. In the back of the strip mall, you can actually rent it out. And, oh, really? And then, Hmm. Yeah, if you yeah, I can I can give you that if you're interested in checking that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like the, the the strip mall, like the plaza in Forks near like Giant, like Town Center? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where Nicolosi's? Yeah, yeah. The what's that? Where like Nicolosi's is and like the, the skate dollar, parks over there. The dollar General or like. Yes. Yeah, but on the other okay. side, there's a beer store. Do you know that? I think we know beer? exactly where that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we're yeah. from around that area. Yeah. Alex. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah, so I couldn't find it at first because it was real weird. But uh, just drive behind and go to the dumpster, and there's a door there. <laughs> That's the easiest way to describe it. Um, <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. I can I can uh, hook you up with the contact there. Um, but we when we need to actually go play, like turn it up and be loud, that's where we go. Um, otherwise, we we're pretty much all yeah digital as much as possible just to rehearse like in my apartment. Believe it or not. Um, let's see here. Oh, Simon Marshall forty four has a question. Um, what's that? Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. just. Saying it was just small world because that's like very close to home where Alex and I yeah. are. So I was just like, oh, that's you know, I never heard yeah. of that before. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Um, I live literally right up the street, and I was searching like high and low for all these rehearsal spaces. There was one. Um, there's a recording studio downtown Easton that does rent out hourly as well, and we started there. And then I randomly found this and was like, yeah, this makes a lot of sense too. So, luckily, it was really close by. Oh, neat. Yeah. All right, so um, Simon Marshall 44 has a question. Where, um, where does it say? Where is your favorite places to perform? Where has been your favorite places to perform so far? Oh. Mm -hmm. Speaking of venues. Oh, that's tough. Let's see. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed our first show with Alex over at National Soul Coals. That was, yeah. Oh, I love that place. That yeah. Was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like my first like intro to playing live with them and it was a good show. Yeah, that's one of my yeah. favorites. Very cool. Have you played the building yet? Just because I was there Saturday. It's just fresh in my mind. No, we haven't played there. Uh, neither have we, but um, <laughs> we're considering trying to book there because that place is cool too. It is a cool spot. Uh, we're, we're not, I don't know if we're heavy enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say, it is. Like it's a lot of like heavier music. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, that's why I was I was, like when JDs was having a rock category, I was kind of surprised about it, and I was like, all right, well, I'll throw us in there. We're pretty like I don't think we're very heavy by any means. But we got some punch to it. Like, you know, we got yeah, some. It's got a grunge. Yeah, it's, it's not. <laughs> at all, you know? We yeah. like <laughs> so, it a little bit. <laughs> so when they picked us, I was like, oh shoot, this is really cool. What a good opportunity. Yeah. But, uh, Ice houses. Yeah, I was gonna say too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really I, cool. Yeah. That we yeah. I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. There's a lot of people I mean, there too. Yeah. I also love Bethlehem Rose Garden because like that Rose was just such a really beautiful cool. outdoor yeah. show. Yeah, that's right. beautiful. Yeah. 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 I mean, honestly, we've had a lot of fun ones. Even like before, like the the one that we threw during the pandemic, the pandemic one. Yeah, like yeah. we. <laughs> Like before Alex this time we took through one um in my family's driveway, like when the pandemic hit to do like an outdoor one, which we want to do again. After the pandemic. Well, it was yeah. it was, you know, uh, like trying not, to like not no, during, not during the after, after, not during this was after when this you was still, the summer. When you still want to be nice <laughs> yeah. and social so we called oh it the pandemic. Yes. Yeah. No, um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> but we would love to throw sure. one too, so that's um yeah. I don't even uh safety first. No. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> uh let's see, Amanda Darling joined. Thank you for joining. And uh, reaches reaches in the tray. Thank you for joining as well. If you have any questions for Nidarian, you can post them in the comment and we will read them off. Oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt you saying uh does anyone else have venues that they enjoyed it? Anyone played um Planet Trog, the laser tag? No, no, we no. were gonna or we uh, we, yeah, we were yeah. yeah, I've I've played Planet Trog back in the day. <laughs> oh my like, gosh! Back in the oh my gosh! Sort of, yes. Sort of, sort of yeah. scenario. Like it wasn't even inside like the big building. It was over off to the side. Yeah, the little uh, yeah. shit back. Yeah, yeah, that that was yeah. a that was a lot of fun. What a what a grungy divey spot. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I tend to like those for a while. The truck stop. That was a fun show. Oh, yeah. truck stop. That was, was a good show. Oh yeah. yeah. Really good. yeah. yeah. That was a good example was of a, a good basement show that we Good played. basement. It was my first show. basement yeah, show. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Food Truck. Yeah. yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Shout out to Food Truck. <laughs> Living Food Truck. Right, cool. yes. If he's still watching, I don't know if he's still watching. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um oh what was it? oh you're talking about um there's a lot of like hardcore and heavy bands we, we kind of are in the, a bit of the same boat we're like well we're definitely not like that heavy but we would like to play places like the building or other things and it's kind of it's uh, we're trying to find uh, the right spots and the right bands to play with um, so yeah. it's interesting to hear you say that uh, let's see here. Actually, how about this? What do you think? I want to talk about the cart sessions a little bit. Um, but also just uh, the, the Lehigh Valley scene in general, like what, how do you feel about it? 
I feel like it's, well, you go first and then I'll go. <laughs> uh, the Lehigh Valley scene has so much great potential. Yeah. Like, I think it's cool to just be planted here naturally, to be able to like be in an environment where we are able to communicate and collaborate with so many other musicians simply just by being here in this area. And that's, that's pretty cool. And I, I feel like, you know, with, with Music Fest being, you know, a popular thing in the area, it's really oh, yeah. a lot of musicians, you know, in the area. I mean, there's a lot of musicians out there from the Leo Valley. You know, yeah. so many great bands. Yeah. Yeah, I love how, like, even through the last couple of years, like, the community's kind <laughs> of built itself back up, or at least been trying to with, like, venues and even you guys with, like, Pussycat Booking and, like, everything like that. It's just people yep. really supporting each other again and and trying to um, bring about like the shows and the community and the camaraderie and everything. So it's like supporting the music and each other. So I, I love it. So. Um, yeah, I feel like it kind of exploded the, like the pandemic, like we had a lot of new people come in. Um, I grew up in the area as well and was always into music and moved down to Philadelphia um, for about seven years. And while I was away, um, there was a venue uh, in Bethlehem called Second um, Second Avenue that uh, really did very well, but it was gone by the time I came back. Um, but I do feel like, again, it's kind of coming back up now, um, now that the pandemic is kind of over. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we, venue in Easton, you know? that, went, that used to be really booming before the pandemic, and now it just kind of just wiped it out. But yeah. yeah. It's a bummer that that kind of stuff happens, but I do feel like oh, it's really kind of coming back. I look, uh, I always use the uh, litmus test of Craigslist and see how much activity is in the local band section, and it always is pretty good. And it's a there is a lot of heavy stuff, but I mean, I just saw one for polka and the uh, folk, and like it's all over the place. So um, well, all this time, I've, I've been forgetting to post yeah. on Craigslist. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know it's like a, a bit right, of a throwback, but people still use firing it. Firing places. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a new note. <laughs> um, do you want to talk about Fuzzy Cat uh, really quickly and then how that came about? And um, yeah, because that was on my list too. Sure, we like music. <laughs> Fuzzy Cat started in our apartment. Yeah. Uh, originally, I, it was. Selena and I had just kind of moved in together and I like threw the idea. I was just like floating it like what if we what if we had a show in our apartment? You know? <laughs> a complex. Like just what if we had a show? Why and not? she was like, Yeah. And I was like, Yeah, what if we had like twelve bands play? And she was like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we did. And our very first show ran from like two o'clock to nine o'clock. And we had bands coming in and doing their thing. Uh, it was all acoustic. It, we didn't. We didn't do full. Okay. I was like, "There's no way." Oh my gosh, your name that, 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 you. Getting gear in and out. Like our apartment wasn't super big, so I was just like, "We, you know, we're just shoving people in here." But doing an acoustic, I figured that would be cool. And we were kind of like emulating like a tiny desk feel yeah. almost. Yeah. So like yeah. we did stream the the shows and like the videos from those first like apartment shows I'm pretty sure are still all online from the original like fuzzy cat gigs and then we stopped doing stuff when COVID hit mm -hmm. and then I wasn't sure that I really wanted to do it again because I didn't I didn't want to do it in the apartment anymore. yeah not because things were missing but because we kept finding things <laughs> so like we'd have a show and then I'd end up with like a shoe that wasn't mine. <laughs> like, whose shoe is this? <laughs> Why did you leave your shoe in my apartment? And, yeah, so we took a path of trying to do it at this one spot. Uh, it didn't really work out. And then we got in touch with John and Ava over at the Soft Machine Gallery. Mm -hmm. And we have been working with them for like the past year and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've been doing shows with you know, fuzzy cat and that's kind of our our little child with our, our our other friend sarah very cool um i'm sorry i think it's roaches in the tray is that correct yeah i mispronounced your name my bad 
That's way better than reaches in the tray. Um, okay, so <laughs> you guys did uh, the cart sessions as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? That sounded really great too, I thought. Like the recording quality came out really well. Oh, yes. no, thank you. Yes, that those, was awesome. Those videos surpassed my expectations entirely. And video, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Like, yeah. Shout out to Cart, you guys. I, yeah, because yeah, I, I woke up and yes. I sent me the the stuff in the chat i'm looking at it, i'm like listening i'm like oh my god oh my god, <laughs> wow. oh my god this is so good like <laughs> the, the, the video is great because we're really bad at um doing any kind of media or yeah. taking pictures of ourselves or having people like save videos so to have really good quality video of us nice yeah but mm -hmm. that the mix that he recorded of us playing live was fantastic oh, he, did a, he did such a good yeah. job and that's the first time that we've ever been recorded playing together. Yeah. So I think that mm. that's a, a really unique uh, thing to experience. And like, I think that the, the sound of the those songs because of that, um, I think, I, I don't know, I like, I like the, those recordings, I think better than our actual recordings on the EP, at least for Grapefruit. Like yeah. that is, yeah. that is such a strong mm. uh, yeah. recording of that song. It's just blended and, uh, so well, yeah. And nine lives we did. Yeah, yeah getting to one. getting to yeah. peak nine lives is cool because yep. that's going to be one of the songs on the new EP. Um, so for those who are here and you haven't checked out the cart <laughs> session, go check out the cart session so you can hear yeah. a brand new song yes. that's not on the EP. Cart uh, underscore music and it's, on YouTube. Yeah, it's on the YouTube. Yeah. My Darian session. Yeah. Silence. I love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the same thing. I was like, well, silence. Is silence. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I always am fighting to not use a click track when recording and try to play together as much as possible, but our drummer is an uh, audio engineer, so he's like, nah, <laughs> play to the <laughs> click. Oh, oh. But oh. I always, yeah, I, just the feel I've never played through a click me. track. I've never, What's that? I, I've never, never, never played through a click never, track. No. Are you serious? Don't yeah. start. <laughs> no. Wow. Yeah. He's just that good. I, yeah, I just never did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a skill in of itself for sure. I, um, I'm just throwing it out. Man. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, I know you you I feel the strange because of Logic, and actually it's even better because you can just use the Robo Drummer in Logic and drag some loops in, and uh, you don't even have to listen to the click. But you're still like locked into a machine, and I don't know. It just takes some getting used to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what else? Oh, that's what I want to talk about songwriting. When you said like, um, I, we were talking about song length and stuff like that. One of the things that I've noticed is like, we'll, we'll put together a song and then we'll go play it live. And when we play it live, I'm like, oh, this part's too long. Or people think the song is done at this point and it's not. Um, is there things like that, like where you're like, all right, we're writing this song, we think it's great. And then you put it in front of people and then you get these kind of insights to, like you feel the vibe of the room and then like, does that change your mind and, and how you arrange things at all? That's entirely crowd-based. <laughs> that is the, the same crowd that we see bobbing their heads uh started moshing during lifeline which to me is not a mosh song <laughs> but it's that's that's entirely crowd-based i don't think that is you know right writing to writing and whatnot i don't think you should take that too personally i think that you should focus on how you want the song to feel to yourself and the audience mm -hmm. will receive that this is the that's the same advice I've heard a couple of like big bands say too. And I don't know, for me, I'm always like, I want to try to keep things as short as possible. And I'm like a minimalist uh, editor. So I'm like, uh, if it doesn't need to be there, get it out of there. And then we kind of have the back and forth of like, all right, this song should be longer, it should have lots of parts It should do all this kind of stuff. So I'm trying to embrace that a little bit more too. So it's good to hear you say that. Um, let's see, Big Nut, I think it is. Thank you for joining. I'm not sure if it's you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else I got for you? Oh, you were talking about not liking to have your picture taken or that kind of stuff. I am in the exact same way. Do you have any like tips for people who are like that to just go and do it anyway? Or, you know, it's, it's part of the deal. So you kind of have to get used to it. 
Um, I think we're, we're more like, just hire the guy. <laughs> it's, just, it's just that we don't do it. I don't know. We're yeah. just more like, yeah, we're yeah. Just I don't, yeah, I don't think we like, don't like it. We just, just haven't. We forget, and then we're like, oh, yeah. rats, we forgot to take pictures or do yeah. this or do, yeah. you know. Like, yeah. Yeah. Take a video of us, and they'll, they'll, they'll send it to us, and I'll be like, oh, I was, I was supposed to save that for later when <laughs> I yeah. need to, like, use that and shoot. Yeah. Uh, we do have a yeah. we do have a, a couple uh, really great photographers that oh, are yes. local local guys. Oh, cool. I'll shout out Matt Liddick and uh, Derek. Yeah, I don't absolutely. What's his last name? Uh, I don't know, but you can. I don't know, but you can bug me and we'll yeah. He's tumble also tumble 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 photography. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah, that's our yeah. buddy Derek, and he's been he's been working really really hard. Uh, especially lately doing a, doing a lot of photography for the local scene so yeah for sure shout out derek he was at uh, was he at your uh, rose garden show yeah, yeah. That? yeah. yeah. yeah cool yeah. Yeah. and again yeah. see those pictures no. came out great <laughs> <laughs> we <remember> it. <laughs> it <made> him. <laughs> have a photographer there it's awesome but we don't ever we don't like we're really bad at like <laughs> capturing candid moments of each other for like yeah just like those b-roll whatever yeah we're musicians, not photographers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or we hire someone. Of course, sometimes. We, but like, it's like awkward angles or like blurred. And it, you know, having a band is also having a business. Like you need to. Yes. You need we're to, not good at that. You need, to <laughs> you need to advertise your business, and sometimes we're we're so caught up in like making us emotionally happy by having this band together that like we don't think about the business aspect. We're just thinking yeah. about like, yay, we get to play with each other. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah. We get to write songs yeah. and we get to have a good time and be creative. Mm -hmm. And we don't really think about business sometimes. Agreed. Mm -hmm. I love, I love <laughs> that you brought that up. Yeah, when we did the car studios, then the guy took our pictures and we're like, I think it's like the first like picture we like. <laughs> yeah, so well, well that's the together. first. Like, we have a couple. We do, songs. but like that was like the one we use. Yeah. For like a new stuff, um, yeah. Um, with you, new, yeah, we don't yeah. have anything with, with you. Yeah, really, we don't have any. We don't have any real professional like non-playing music. Yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah. So I have some ideas. I love chat screenshots. Yeah. We can. Have <laughs> I love that you brought that up too, because we have this conversation on the live stream all the time. It's like, yes, I love being a musician, but there's so much more to it than just being a musician. You have to, you have to juggle a lot of things and wear a lot of hats mm -hmm. all the time. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Ryan Flynn Instagram says, I think this is Derek's last name. Field, Phil, Fiedler, Field, Fielder, Fielder, yeah. Some... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So thank you for that. Humbleweed photographer. That's his, yep. that's his Instagram. That's how I know him, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Ben B. Straw, thank you for joining. And, um, oh my God, I need glasses. Uh, Boreal Band, um, thank you for joining. Hello. Hi, Hello. Well, let's see here. Um, what about, um, oh, do you ever get self-conscious on stage or are you these people who are just like soak up every minute of it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm the yeah. biggest, like, like we'll play a show and then I'll just be like, Oh God, I really messed that up. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite is the dude that stands like right next to the stage that takes down every time you mess up. And like, you'll, you'll see him go like, Oh, yep. All right. Yep. Oh, I saw that. Like that's, that's my, yeah. favorite, that's my favorite guy. It gives me motive. I'm I'm to look at him and mess up on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Make my tally higher. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think with every show, I know, especially as we get like, yeah, like the, the butterflies every time almost, but it, it doesn't take away from like the experience of it all. And like the, still the drive to perform, but it's like, I still always get nervous before performance, but and then after we're like, oh, is that it? Why can't it be more? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, it wasn't that bad. That was we're bad. Yeah. Oh, down. yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I, I don't care if I mess Strong. up because I'm usually pretty okay with like recovering. And Alex especially is really good at catching that and being able to to play through when I mess up because it happens. It's honestly quite a lot. Yeah, we but everyone messes up. Uh, <laughs> 
yeah, I get more embarrassed when I break something because then I'm like, oh, I can't do anything right now. And it just goes down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone, uh, I forget who it was, I uh, should shout them out. Um, they were in a live stream and it's like, whatever you do, because you're going to mess up, is you don't let you don't let on to the crowd that you made the mistake. You just you uh -huh. do exactly okay. that. Yeah. 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 Play through it. Just keep going. Yeah. That's what I know. I'm just like, oh, I messed up. Hey, you should, well, just well, keep going. Like, trying to make some eye contact with right. each other and like, you know, like, and then we'll just keep going. I'll yell. I'll just like, um, We'll make sure that we at least like communicate a little bit and then we'll like check yellow, like, okay, green, we're gonna go from yellow, green, blue, <laughs> orange, green, yellow, green. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right, we have a few minutes left here. Uh let's see. Yeah. What um what do you think like what tips would you give bands starting out because i feel like that's no. always a hard one to no. get <laughs> so is it i missed it learn the business <laughs> learn the business part first yeah right like, learn the yeah. Um, no, um, yeah don't stop yeah even. yeah yeah no but like seriously don't stop like <laughs> yeah like it's gonna it's gonna be Fucking rough. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, there's it's, gonna there's gonna I, be changes. There's gonna there's gonna yeah. be organic flow that will, will naturally happen. Just let it happen. Yeah, the gotta ride that way. The, the yeah. less control you you want, the more happy your music is gonna be, and the more happy you're gonna be yeah. writing. Like that, things are gonna happen in time. So rushing it isn't gonna do anything. And no. you can put all your eggs in this basket if you want to if you want to just be like i'm gonna be a musician this is all i'm gonna do and cool awesome man that's that's a great drive to have and like i want that for you um but ultimately it doesn't come down to what you want it comes down to what everyone wants and how they perceive you so the more you you try to grab that thing i think the the further away from you it gets and the more you let it go and you just let it happen the more likely it is to actually happen to you. It's like a, a very Rick Rubin uh, approach to it, where it's just like Zen. Don't don't yeah. force the idea. Let the idea happen to you. Be the most you you know. Be the most you. The most authentic you that you can be is when you're not trying to please someone else. That's a spectacular one. Um, I have been. He's been like. A, I feel like he's been doing a lot more interviews and stuff lately too. And he did. He does say exactly that. He's like the the audience is last. You have to put yes. yourself first, yep, and do what you want to do first, and then they'll they'll come around and realize like. Or someone else said this too. It's um, it might have been Steve Jobs, um, where it's like people who aren't creators might not have that imagination to even know what they want until they get it, and then they understand it and know that they want it. So um, it's kind of a weird balancing act there. All right, really quickly, Steve Couch and Steve Clone, thank you both for joining. Um, we are just about to wrap up here. Is there anything else that you wanted to touch base on or we'll do one more round of plugs to you? Um, but yeah, anything else? Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else on my list here. I mean, I have plenty, but we can always do another one too if you're up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We for sure. Yeah, this is fun. I'll yeah. do it again. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, then why don't you um, just plug everything you got coming up one more time and then we'll wrap up for tonight. And yeah, for sure. Uh, we, we got Main Gate coming up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cedar December Green's 15th. Toys for Tots. Yes. Yep. December 15th. 15th. Yep. Right, so next right behind the fairgrounds. Yeah. Um, we still have some tickets. So $10 presale if you want to hit up the band 15 at the door. Um, yeah, physical and, tickets or link tickets so if you want yes. to just get your tickets online link shoot us a message and we can send you the link and where to go and it's also in our bio and our instagram yeah. page oh yeah too. and the ugly sweater oh we're yeah like christmas sweater. like we're having like a little mini company yeah like, so with us. wear your ugliest sweater <laughs> ugliest sweater gets a free t-shirt yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great marketing idea whose idea was that and so, so yeah. yeah if you bring a toy bring you get a free top. drink no. so free drink but bring it for the top too yeah. <laughs> and then our January Battle of the Bands. Yeah, so then we have the January Battle of the Bands 13th. on the 13th at JB Love Drafts. Yeah. Very cool. And a new EP in the works. Uh, it's an EP, right? Yeah. Yes. It is. It'll be second. Oh. 
Yes, we had to look up what the difference between the two was. <laughs> yeah, we so that we weird. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it has to do with the, the run time. The length. Yeah. yeah. Just so yeah. run time. Other people it's like over, <laughs> over, over a half over hour, a half is, half hour. Is, a, is, an album. is a full length mm -hmm. album. Under it's so confusing. Yeah, extended play versus long play. Long? Like, they're both sound like they're long. Yeah, I don't get uh, it. Half an hour. Um, is pretty yeah. short for an album. Like, a half hour. Do you think so? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Or really long for like a grindcore band. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're yeah. still, then you, you're, yeah. you have a yeah. full length album. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, that's a song. Um, that's a whole, that's song. a whole song. That's a uh -huh. side A on a tool on a tool album. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, shit, I had another question now and I just forgot it. Um, all right, we'll get it next time. How about baby, that? Um, uh, a mommy and a dad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're not going to go test our baby. We're not going oh, no. to <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on that note, we have Chelsea, Selena, Spencer, and Alex of Nidarian. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me. And uh, yeah. Let's go to their shows and support them. And yeah, keep in touch. And we will do this again sometime. And I'll hook you up with that um, rehearsal studio too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for having me. Have a good night, y'all. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Bye, man. Peace out. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.